Here's a breakdown of what I found about Xpeng's humanoid robot Iron, what is claimed, what was shown, and what to keep an eye on. On November 5, 2025 at its AI Day event in Guangzhou, Xpeng introduced the next-gen Iron humanoid robot. Xpeng says Iron has a design that is born from within, meaning a human-like spine, bionic muscles, fully flexible synthetic skin, and many degrees of freedom, 82 DOF, 22 in each hand, for lifelike movement. Because the robot's gait and movement were so natural, some in the audience and on social media questioned whether it was actually a human in a robot suit. To address this, Xpeng CEO He Xiaoping had the robot's leg skin cut open on stage. The outer layer of skin and muscle were sliced to visibly reveal the mechanical structure underneath. After the cut, the robot walked off the stage again. The official Xpeng announcement mentions the next-gen iron platform and positions it for mass production by end of 2026, targeted at commercial service scenarios, retail, guide, industrial inspection. The demonstration is a bold move, cutting open a robot live on stage, rare in robotics product introductions. It signals, yes, it's truly mechanical, not a human inside. The uncanny valley is addressed. Iron's movement was apparently so realistic that the company felt forced to prove authenticity. This suggests significant progress on anthropomorphic motion, flexibility, synthetic skin feel. Despite the onstage demonstration, public scrutiny remains. Some observers questioned whether the footage was staged, whether the walking robot was the same as the one cut open, etc. The claims, e.g., 82 DOF, custom AI chips, synthetic skin, mass production by 2026, are ambitious. As with many robotics announcements, there's often a gap between demo concept and full deployment. The leg skin cut open is a proof gesture, but does not necessarily demonstrate long-term durability, autonomy, full self-driving capabilities, or safety in unstructured environments. The next-gen iron has a lean humanoid form, covered in synthetic skin that gives the look and feel of a human rather than an exposed robotic skeleton. The visible joints are smooth, movements during the demo looked natural. The skin cut reveals underneath an endoskeleton plus bionic muscle modules, an aesthetic choice that pushes anthropomorphism. With 82 DOF claimed, including 22 in each hand, the robot can apparently do fine hand gestures, gait changes, maybe even catwalk-style walking. Xpeng mentioned a catwalk. The demonstration of walking after the leg cut is a symbolic stamp of, yes, this is a mechanical robot, not a human. Movement fluidity is a key highlight. Xpeng claims it has embedded three of its in-house, Turing AI chips and a physical world large model, VLA 2.0, to enable direct visual-to-action mapping, bypassing traditional language-based processing. Yes, the story you heard about, Xpeng cut open its robot's leg on stage to prove it wasn't a person in a suit, is accurate as far as current reporting shows. It is a dramatic and audacious demonstration. The next-gen iron robot from Xpeng represents a potential step change in humanoid robotics, especially from a mobility-slash-EV company perspective. However, like many robotics announcements, the proof will be in sustained real-world operation, cost, 
reliability, and scale.